Hi, my name is Shanique. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to bring you, I think this is my second haul, but I had actually wanted to film this a while ago. Long story, I will not bore you with it, but today we are here to talk about my most recent makeup purchases as well as um, purchases from Sephora. You know, it was I guess a few weeks ago at this point, Sephora had the the bonus, um, the VIB Rouge sale, as well as one of my colleagues, um, shout out to uh, DC, one of my colleagues, he went to Korea and he actually bought me back some K-Beauty stuff. And that's actually the things that I really wanted to show you. But first we're gonna start with the Sephora stuff. I know everybody likes to see everything like fresh out the pack, but um, I'm not gonna front y'all. I've been using a lot of this stuff um, already, so I'm gonna try to pretend like this stuff is fresh out the pack. For this sale, I actually just wanted to get, like re-up on some essentials. The first thing I got, and y'all know I talk about this all the time, is the the mineral veil primer by hourglass this is how it looks i don't know if that's focusing um but it, one of the reasons why i like this is because it doesn't make me oily as well as um it has spf in it so that's one of that primer has easily become one of my uh holy grails and i got two of the the precisely my brow brow pencils from benefit and i love 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 uh these which is why um i which is why i always get them usually two at a time i got the color five but the reason why i got two of them at a time was because the last time i had ran out i had went to about two three sephora's and I couldn't find them. So next time I was like, you know, you don't have to get ready if you stay ready. I'm gonna, you know, make sure I double up this time. And I really like these. And I feel like the color five is good, but I've also used, I wanna say 4.5 or something like that. And that worked just as well. So if you ever can't um, find the one you need because it's sold out, don't be afraid to go like, 0.5 above or uh, below the number you usually work because that's what I had to do, to do in this situation and it actually wasn't that bad. The Also, I got a new setting spray. This is from Cover FX and all, all this packaging is shiny so the light just makes it look completely crazy but this is how it looks outside of um, the packaging. And this is the high performance setting spray. Over the summer, I was using the mattifying one. And I definitely think this will be okay uh, as we're now starting to get, you know, more into the fall. But I think for the summer, I would bet that the mattifying primer is a little bit better for people who are in the situation that I'm in where, you know, here in the tri-state, you know, the humidity be on the humidity to be turned up okay um so if you're someplace where it's really um hot and humid then i think the min uh the mattifying one is probably better but since it's been cooling down i've been using this and i haven't really been having any problems so i think this one is good too um i'm just not sure if i would bet on it you know when it's 99 degrees with 80 percent humidity that's all i'm saying and i'm actually excited that i get to throw away um some of these boxes that i've been holding um Oh, y'all, I didn't even know I had this. I, I, I'm I, not even lying. I didn't, did not know I bought this. Or I didn't remember I bought it, I should say. I bought the Dior Show Iconic Mascara. I love, I love this mascara. Like, this wand really, really gets in there. Now, what do we have next? This box has been sitting on my floor for, I cannot even tell y'all how long, because I was like, no, I'm going to film it. I'm going to do the right thing and, you know, keep up on this, you know, journey that I've decided to put myself on. We'll get more into, um, you know, 
my situation at another time. But I got also, the next thing I got was the Beauty Blender Solid Pro Cleanser. And y'all, I love this. Um, Let me see if I can open it. I love this. I, I obviously, you know, use it to clean my beauty blenders, but I also just use it um, weekly to clean my makeup brushes too. And it actually works. And when I tell you this thing lasts, I'm pretty sure the one that I have now that's just running out, I bought it in 2017. So like, look at how big this is. Y'all let me know. But the way I wash my makeup brushes is I go in with Johnson's Baby Shampoo first to get like the majority of the makeup out what I can. And then I go in with this second to like really, really uh, deep clean it. And it actually works really well. So no complaints there. And I'm pretty sure I showed this in my previous haul, but I have got to have my uh, sugar lip moisturizer from fresh and one of the things I love besides the fact that it doesn't make your lips too greasy is that who I said greasy old school greasy um is that it has SPF 15 in it and you know we all know the benefits of SPF I'm not gonna hold you with that all right I don't know what this is what is it y'all <laughs> you know what maybe it's good that I do it like this because I forget what I buy so I'm just finding out all these things that I, I'm just remembering now what I bought as I'm going through it with y'all oh I bought a this is Fenty Beauty this is the Stunner Lip Paint and I actually really 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 love the Stunner Lip Paint I love the way it goes on this color is called uncensored now am i bugging but i thought yeah yeah so um <laughs> i bought a color that i already had i now have two <laughs> i didn't know I, I didn't know that i did this all right well I got another sun of lip paint. Um, I might give this to somebody. I don't know. Um, but I could have sworn I had gotten a different color. I Now that I'm thinking on this, it, I think that I was under the impression when I bought this that I was getting a color that I didn't already have. But, you know, it be like that sometimes. Oh, this is actually really good. So I got the Makeup Forever Since Eyes um waterproof eye makeup remover and I'm gonna be honest I've been using this for a while and it's mainly because I have sensitive eyes and I find that there are better eye makeup removers out there but they irritate my eyes so normally what I'll do is I'll get off like let's say when I'm gonna take this situation here off I would go in with micellar water first and then go in with this and this actually does a pretty good job of getting it or if you know what uh, oh I wish I could still find it um the balm they used to have this was it car carrot oil or some kind of it was in an orange box but they had this makeup this eye makeup remover and it actually worked really well and it didn't bother my eyes but for the life of me I have not been able to find it and now they're selling the balm in a couple of the nicer drugstores here and every time I see it I try to um check if they have the eye makeup remover and I just haven't seen it I'm probably just gonna have to go on the the website um oh I think this might have been in my last haul too but I got the, uh, I got another bottle of the Ole Henriksen, this is the Dark Spot Toner. And if you watch my Get Ready With Me, which you should, um, you'll see that my dark spots are really getting better. And I'm somebody who has battled with dark spots for, since the 90s, y'all. Um, and... I've noticed that since I've been using this 
Um, I've definitely noticed um, less dark spots. And then when I do get them, they seem to fade away quicker. So I would definitely recommend this. Oh, Lord, I think my battery's dying. All right, we're going to have to speed up so I can make sure I can get the rest of this. Um, so we got the Soy Fresh Face Cleanser, which is, you know, this situation. And then I'm like the last person on earth to get the Jackie Ina um, ABH palette. So I can't wait to play around with this. Um, I've seen, you know, all the other um, YouTube girls do different looks. So I definitely can't wait to play around with that. And that's all I got from Sephora, but from the K Beauty, which all of this stuff is so damn cute that I can't wait to get into this. Like, look at this. So here we go. So if you can see this actually, this is called the Honey Jelly Lip Patch. And it says it's firming, intense moisture, and honey extract. And it basically, it's a lip mask for moisturization. Um, and this is, like I said, straight from Korea in the back. It has English and Korean on it. Um, I can't wait to use these. And then he also got me some pearl for bright complexion. Now, we know the Koreans, they be down with the skin whitening. So now I don't know. I'm going to have to um, look at these. It says air, air light mask comfortably adheres to skin. So I'm hoping that it just has like a little bit of fade and not too much because I'm definitely not down with um, skin bleaching at all. Um, then we also have, oh yes, Tea Tree. I had actually hit him up on um, Telegram uh, while he was there and told him to get me. This is a Tea Tree mask. Um, it's the same thing. It's like the sheet mask and it peels off. But um, also if you suffer from like bad acne or breakouts or anything like that, try Tea Tree. It's a natural oil to, um, it kills like bacteria really well. So that means that any bumps or blemishes that you have, they will dry up quicker. Um, and I know that I sound like I'm talking super, super fast right now. And it's because um, I think my battery is going to die like any, any minute now. We also got, he got me some more. Oh, so the other ones were honey lip masks, but he got me the cherry as well. So the same idea. So you just put it like this. So that's the lip mask. And then um, he got me um, two tints. These are called Dear Darling Tints. And I believe usually with the tints, you can use them in, on cheek or lip. And I actually might have to take this. Oh, okay. Here it is. Yeah, it, it's a lip tint. And it just says, you know, put it on your lips, basically, is, is what the directions um, say. And this is so cute. And that's another reason why I love Korean stuff, because it is really super cute. I don't want to rip this. Um, but, like, come on, y'all. Like, how cute is this? So, that's that. And then the last thing we have is, it's, oh, this is. It's called a lovely cookie blusher. And it's just, um, I think this is just kind of like a, a peachy or an orangey um, kind of blush. So now you can see it. All right. So that's what the blush looks like. And now I have to turn the light back up so y'all can see me. All right. I was actually going to try to film another video, but it looks like my uh, battery is telling me that not today. Uh, so that's all I got. So just to recap from Sephora, I got primer, setting spray, beauty blender solid, a lip, a stunner lip paint that I already own, um, the Jackie Ina palette, the beauty blender solid, the fresh soy cleanser, the lip moisturizer, the eye makeup remover, the Jackie Ina palette. And then um, my boy David was so gracious to bring me um, this blush as well as these lip tints and the cherry lip mask. 
cherry lip mask as well as the honey lip mask from Korea and the pearl sheet mask and the tea tree sheet mask um, in terms of K-Beauty. Also, I'm curious, are y'all using K-Beauty? Like what, what are y'all into lately? I know Sephora sends it, um, sends the emails kind of frequently about K-Beauty, but when I see them sending it, it seems like they're talking about more like skin care. So um, that's why I'm really eager to try these lip tints and the blush because I've only heard about it for skincare. So, you know, I, I have no doubt that the masks and all of that are going to be good. But what are your favorite uh, Korean beauty products? Yeah, that's our question today. What are your favorite K-beauty products? Drop down in the comments. Let me know. And I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.